buying and selling a home during these times is, is to say the least, can be very, very stressful. Fortunately, this afternoon, we're going to get some tips from one of our favorite people, our Ask the Expert guest. She's the uh, head of Team McClintock. She's Carol McClintock with FC Tucker and Gee Realtors. Carol, it is always good to see you. Now, before we talk about the stress of listing your home and so forth, the housing market the last few months, it's really held up, has it not? Yeah, it has. The housing market is really, really good right now. Um, we are listing and selling properties. So as we like to say, real estate keeps moving. So uh, in spite of everything else going on around us, uh, real estate is selling. Okay, let's talk about, she's got some wonderful tips about getting your home ready, listing your home. The first thing you say, get yourself a really good agent, right? I, I think that makes a huge difference uh, whether you're buying or selling because buyers can get into trouble by not having everything done and all the hoops jump through that need they need to protect them. And sellers really need good representation, especially now when we are relying on a lot of virtual touring, virtual open houses. So you need to look for a realtor that has all of those capabilities and really does them well. And the easiest way to find them is to look on the website and see what they're doing for other sellers. Something you've told us many times, you've got you've to take into account curb appeal. It is, yes. It's really important, right? Yeah, especially this time of year because everything looks so good. It's so green, and um, this is a real opportunity. Everybody's been working on their yards. So plant some flowers out in your mailbox planter or in a nice pot beside the door. Make sure their front door is cleaned. Um, sometimes you need to paint the front door, the sun's faded it, but whatever you can do, that is your first impression. Now, when we go inside, uh, you've mentioned before, you want to declutter. You also say depersonalize your home. What do you mean by right. that, Carol? Well, it's not just, uh, we always ask sellers to take down all their personal photographs because we don't want people focusing on that, but people have, their clutter is very personalized. So. Um, I was in a house yesterday that had lovely things, um, but there were a lot of silk plants and, and very personalized arrangements. And something simpler, as I was telling that seller, uh, it's hard for buyers to focus on the quality of the cabinets and the flooring and the counters if there's a lot of stuff in the house. So get rid of it. And yeah. again, uh, I think she said this before too, when in doubt, neutralize the area. In other words, you don't want it all as uh, explain what you mean. Right, well, we'll go into homes. Um, I had another home that I was in um, earlier in the week and um, they have this lovely red room. Well, those were very popular about 10 years ago. And wow. so, I advise that client and any others, you have those really bold colors that you probably want to paint and neutralize those areas. We want people to think they can move right into your house without them having to do the work. And sometimes little things are big things. You say touch up any, any scuff marks. Yes. Um, you know, after a home has lived in, my home, probably your home too, Mike, um, you know, we will scuff our baseboards and our uh, door jams and, and, you know, once a year, every two years, it's a good idea just to go around and have either yourself or someone come in and get all those scrapes um, taken care of so it's a nice, clean look. Carol McClintock with some wonderful tips, and she's got more. And we'll hear from Carol when Midday with Mike continues. But first, listen to this. Again, we're getting our home ready uh, for buying and selling. And whom better to talk to than the head of Team McClintock, Carol McClintock of FC Tucker MD Realtors. Okay, Carol, uh, I think most homes, there's some, there's some loose handles. You say when you're showing or listing your home, be sure and fix those. Why is that so important? Well, because, you know, there's if, if buyers perceive that there is something as simple as a handle that's loose, that's not um, uh, attached properly, you know, there's probably other things wrong with that house. So that's something that's really easy to do. It's just like changing light bulbs. You know, make sure all your light bulbs are changed and everything is light and bright. Hey, a lot of people like plants. Maybe you're a plant lover. If they do, uh, is it okay to show or add some plants? 
Yeah, if you have the room and not too many, and they need to be real. Um, we see a lot of soap plants um, that are in corners of homes and over the cabinets, and all of that is taken away from the space and really hemming things in and honestly kind of dating right. the house. So if you have a nice, fresh, uh, small plant that you can put on a table or an end table or on a kitchen counter, that's great. Just not too many of them, and they need to be live and in good shape, not dead like my plants are. <laughs> and, ch and chances are most homes occasionally will get a musty smell or maybe just a foul smell. You say conduct a smell test, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I just had a house that, yeah, had something. We had to get an ozone uh, machine in there. And then, you know, this time of year, open the doors and the windows. Let the fresh air in. Um, and we encourage that when, when people are having showings, too, uh, because, you know, they're telling us that it's safer to be outside and to be um, in spaces that are not confined. So, you know, open up those windows. Let's, let's get them aired out. And something, too, if there's a key word, getting your home ready to be listed, clean, huh? Oh, my gosh. Yes, this is really, really important. And um, I, I cannot emphasize. And be sure and check the top of your ceiling fans. Uh, that is always a telltale sign. Um, I was showing a house the other day, and, oh, immaculate. And the buyer looked up and said, you might want to tell them to check those ceiling fans. So, uh, yeah, once you've cleaned, then go back and clean it again. And sometimes maybe you're a homeowner who likes it. Sometimes we'll have very valuable things out in the open. It's a good idea oh, yeah. to hide those, huh? Yeah, we don't want to worry about somebody picking up something and putting it in their pocket. We've never had that problem, but we always tell owners, don't leave jewelry, watches, um, even small pieces of silver, that kind of thing out. It's just a temptation. Now, we are telling people now, when they go in a house, they're not supposed to touch anything. Um, look with their eyes, and they can see what they need to see so that they can make it an uh, and intelligent a, purchase. And a final tip is, Carol says, consider staging. What do you mean by that? Well, sometimes when we have an empty house, it's fine. It's easy for people to figure out, you know, this is the living room, this is the dining room, this is where this goes. Occasionally, homes will have a tricky floor plan, not a bad floor plan, just something different. So um, we have staged homes and we help um, our sellers stage their homes uh, because a vacant home does not sell usually as quickly as a home that does have uh, furnishings in it. Carol McClintock with F.C. Tucker, M.G. Realtors. Carol, as always, thanks for your expertise. Thank you, Mike. You bet. And for more, just go to 14news.com. Hey, rainy day, that's all right. Keep a good spirit. Hey, have a wonderful day. More importantly, come on back tomorrow. We'll see you again on Midday with Mike.